Mama says, Nama stay. All right, today I am doing something different, and I am interviewing my wonderful friend, Anna Bayad, who is, uh, I'm going to let her share her story, but the reason why I'm doing this is because she, like me, is very passionate about this concept of functional education, and, and what I mean by that and what I've talked about before is that this is something that is a lifelong learning approach. It doesn't necessarily have to be an exact model of this is how school has to appear. It is what works for you and your family to allow for having a lifelong learner, not just for the children, but for the parents as well. So we wanted to take some time to just have a conversation between Anna and I, share a little bit about her story and what education looks like in her home and hopefully give you some tips and insights for what you can do in your home as well. So thank you very much for being on with me today, Anna. It is a privilege to visit with you, Ashley. I love the work that you're doing in the world, and I, I really have appreciated your help um, for me and for our family. Um, so a little bit about our doc story. Um, I have five children with my husband, Chris. Um, our oldest is 12 and our youngest is three. Um, my personal educational journey is I was homeschooled from kindergarten through high school. Um, and I spent a lot of my time as a tween and a teenager uh, starting businesses, learning to teach myself. My parents signed me up for a correspondence high school um, and I finished it when I was 16 and was off to college at 17. So a lot of times people think you have to be raised in a classroom and test taking and, and succeed in college in order to succeed in life. And my personal experience was really the opposite. It was working in the family business, starting my own businesses, um, learning to teach myself is what really helped me go on to then start larger companies. I sold my first company at 27 um, and have gone on to just you know, do other things. And I really feel like it was my parents' gift to me to be able to um, really learn to work at my own pace and explore the things that I was interested in. So flash forward to our own children. Um, there were, you know, there were certain things about homeschooling that weren't quite as pleasant. I think for me, I was very outgoing, and so sometimes it felt a bit isolating. So I, I didn't want to replicate that um, for my own children. So we looked into traditional school, and it just broke my heart to think of dropping them off to sit in a desk to memorize, to take tests, to spend their days doing things that just didn't matter. <laughs> So we began to homeschool for about five years, which was an absolutely beautiful experience. Um, I think our kids learned a lot. I learned a lot. And, and then I really felt like they needed more than we could provide in the homeschool environment. So we again looked into schools um, and just found that there was nothing that I felt would really equip them for their future and help them find their, their gift and their place in the world. And that's where one day when I was putting the babies to bed for a nap, I started Googling, how do you start your own school? And that's when I came across Action Academy. And it's just completely changed our lives. Um, at Acton, their whole program is designed around the philosophy that we are all heroes on our life's journey with the purpose to use our gifts um, and talents to change the world for the better. So that's a little bit about us. We've had our school open now um, for two years and we have about 62 students um, whose families are also like-minded. And we're all on this just amazing journey of helping our kids tap into their gifts and learn to teach themselves at their own pace. That's amazing. And if you have not heard about Acton, it is, um, I stumbled upon it way before meeting Anna and stumbled upon it, started looking into it. And then my father, Dan Miller, who's the founder of 48 Days, um, he actually was contacted by the founder of Acton Academy and ended up doing an interview with her. 
he was raving about her book and I devoured her book and I've gotten to know Laura and um, have had the, had the pleasure of meeting with her as well. And I love the Acton philosophy. I've kind of, in, in trying to describe it to other people who aren't familiar with Acton, I've kind of said it's almost like unschooling meets uh, private school. So it's, yeah. it's like a, it's a place to go for unschooling, which is kind of interesting since unschooling you don't necessarily think of in, in a classroom. But it's been a great way of, of doing that and kind of incorporating both. So, um, so on the, those lines, you know, obviously homeschooling has a lot of different ways. You know, you said you were homeschooled as a child. Were you, was this something that was very curriculum based or was it more of that unschooling style when you were a kid? You know, I think it was a combination of both. Um, you know, back when I was homeschooled, there weren't, you know, the available programs weren't quite as elaborate as they are now. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what was most meaningful was the real world experience that I had, you know, working in the family businesses, learning to work hard. And that's one thing I love about Acton. Um, starting in sixth grade, all of our students have to get a summer apprenticeship. Um, I think the other thing that's really unique about Acton is that it is student led. So the adult in the, in the classroom is there more as a guide instead of as an instructor. Because if you can learn to teach yourself, you know, self-regulate, learn to work hard, have grit and perseverance, you can do anything. So we really emphasize our children here in the school taking responsibility for their own learning, for solving their own problems, mm -hmm. um, and doing excellent work. So I think the type of parents that do well in that type of environment are those who are not afraid of letting their children fail, mm -hmm. those who are not like helicopter parents. So I think one thing I learned joining Acton is that I was actually somewhat disabling my children by doing everything for them or helping them, mm -hmm. you know, thinking I'm being a good parent by stepping in and making sure they're getting their stuff done, when in reality, that's not really equipping them for the real world. Right. We've had quite a few professors come and tour our school from the local university, and they've all told me, Anna, our 18 and 19 year old students, they just don't have a clue about how to manage their time, their schedules, their budgets. It, they're, they're just, they've had no experience regulating their life, right? The big thing that the emphasis at our school is real world skills. So they start a business every year. Um, they, they learn things that will actually be meaningful to them as they become adults. Because we're not just wanting to have good students, we're wanting to raise a culture of excellent adults. Oh, I love that. And that, that does fall so much in line with what we talk about with the unschooling philosophy or my concept with functional education is that this isn't just about a curriculum. This isn't right. just about following a protocol, but it's, it's the focus is on instilling that love of learning and that critical thinking to be able to do it yourself. Because when yes. you are internally motivated, it makes such a difference. And I've had somebody challenge me on a, a podcast interview that I did. They were asking, you know, well, what about getting into college? You know, how are they going to make sure that they've learned what they need to know and everything else? And it was ironic because he was asking on a podcast. And I said, you know, so, so what classes did you take to be able to do a podcast? Well, he didn't. There weren't any classes to take a pot to do podcasting. It's something that as, you know, as we advance, um, as, as our world advances, new things crop up constantly. And so even in the greatest traditional school environment with the, some of the best curriculum, it's going to change. Weeks, I mean, weeks can make a huge difference. And so right. it's not just about finding those great things to learn, but instilling that love and that desire to go out and, and learn for your whole life. So that, that's Absolutely. a beautiful thing. I love how that is something that is so much, um, that, that's in, in, done in such life skills sorts of ways through Acton. Um, and Acton really got started um, by having kind of a business fair. Wasn't that the first, kind of the beginning of it was, was doing this, this business fair. I'd love for you to kind of explain a little bit about what that is. And because that is, it's a perfect model of unschooling because 
kids are learning a ton, but this is not a set protocol on how you do a business fair. This is very cool. And anyone in the world can start an Acton business fair. Um, I'll give you the link, Ashley, and you can post it. Perfect. And it creates an environment where young people can start their own business. Um, they're judged. And then really it's a, a free market judging of their business based on the sales that they have. Um, we just wrapped up our business fair a couple of weeks ago and it was really powerful. Some realized they were overpriced and didn't sell anything. Some realized they didn't engage well with customers, so they needed to work on their, you know, their professional skills. And I feel like everyone walked away with some very profound life lessons. Um, and many of our entrepreneurs were six. So it was wow. just a really fabulous, fabulous learning experience for everybody. Oh, that's fabulous. And it's not when and when you say judged, it wasn't necessarily X, Y, and Z was done well, but it was looking at that end result of what was their goal, where they were wanting to go with it, and were they able to achieve that, which is a very different concept than just getting a letter grade. That right, that it's not an that. academic right. It's more of a in the real world. How would your business? survive? Is this a viable business opportunity? So judges looked at their budget, their business plan, their actual product. Is it something that they could take to market? And I know a few Acton students who have gone through the business fair have actually ended up taking their product, you know, into a national chain or their product has been purchased. So over the years, as the children kind of perfect their product mm -hmm. and their passion, then they can actually go and, and sell their idea to a larger company. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about Acton and, and your passion for doing this and working not only with your own kids, but being able to do something that does cater to more. And, you know, when we look at how we want to educate our own children, it doesn't just mean the door is closed as to what opportunities there are to collaborate with others. Because like you said, I mean, community is so powerful. And Huge. no matter what your schooling style is, I mean, banding together with other people that support and raise up what you're doing and help to challenge you and your children and, and to push further and to grow more together is such a beautiful thing. I think we as parents have such a wonderful opportunity to, to, I mean, like it or not, we are our children's teachers. All of us are. Yes. We, we constantly are teaching, so we might as well be intentional about it and look right. at how are we setting the example of being those lifelong learners and fostering that growth mindset in our children yes. um, by them seeing our own actions, the ups and the downs, because those, yes. those failures are also opportunities to learn and to grow and to see what does this make possible. It's only a failure if you don't actually move forward from it. Right. Yes. And I think learning to embrace those failures and not expecting perfection of yourself or your children, it, otherwise they just get in this mindset of, I have to be perfect, I can't be wrong, and then that holds them back because oh, they're afraid so. to try. So yes. I think that's one major thing I've been learning through Acton is that you know, it's okay to fail. Just try something else. Learn something. Keep going. Because <laughs> I've never thought in a million years I'd start a school. I didn't know anything about running a school. Yes. So you definitely have to be a lifelong learner in order yes. to go places for sure. <laughs> and I think you've done a wonderful job of also making sure that you add a smile on your face when you do it. It's adding in the fun. And making sure that we do make it enjoyable because when, when school becomes drudgery or work becomes drudgery, it's, it takes so much, it zaps, zaps the life out of it and it becomes yes. grueling. So adding yeah. in the fun, even through the hard times, yes, be challenged and grow together and mess up and fall on your face and laugh about it because you can move on. And it doesn't yeah. have to, yeah, it, you don't have to sink down into this hole of depression. You can, you can grow and learn from it and move forward and and make sure that you allow for that fun in your life learning does not have to be a chore as much as it can be a um 
a challenge and an opportunity to grow and to move forward to be be that hero of your own story. That's right. And I think that's the question that we all have available to us. Are we going to be a hero or are we going to choose to be a victim of our circumstances? Mm -hmm. No matter how bad something is, you always have the choice to choose to, to move forward or you can stay in that place of self-pity. And that's one thing I believe is so powerful that we all have available to us that choice. And that's one thing we really encourage our students is are you gonna choose to be a hero or are you gonna stay in this place of a victimhood? That's right, that's right. And I talk about that even with my, my five-year-old who can get so worked up and frustrated with her sisters and understanding personality styles. I've recognized here's a child who really flies off the handle when she feels like she doesn't have control of something. Mm -hmm. And so I give her that superpower of recognizing you are in control of your own reaction. Yes. And so yes. when you give that control to your sister and you fly off the handle, you don't have control of yourself anymore. So understanding that and speaking in a way that motivates her um, has really helped to, yes, have ownership over the fact that I am not the victim here because I am, I am always in charge of how I am going to react to the world, how I'm going to perceive the world, and how I'm going to choose, yeah, whether I'm going to go down this path or this path. So that's a, that's a beautiful thing. I am so grateful for schools like Acton and people like you that are going out there and making an impact on kids in a way of being the example of, of finding joy in learning and being proactive and intentional and responsible for what you want to do in this life and how you're going to make an impact on the world because regardless, you're making an impact. So choose, choose to make it an amazing one, especially for your children. So, yes. Yes. Well, I will share the well, resource. Can I, Go ahead. Can I give a quick shout out to the program that we're offering this summer with you? Yes. Um, first, I would just love to share how I came about meeting you. I heard you on Entrepreneur on Fire. This was months ago. And I thought, uh -huh. I need to call her. <laughs> So I researched your website and, um, you know, as, as a family of five, we can end up with lots of different personality styles, lots of craziness going on. And so I've really found a lot of value in working with you as kind of our family coach. You mm -hmm. helped us um, kind of work through some bedtime battles, <laughs> um, helping uh, Chris and I really kind of refocus um, on our marriage and come up with some ways that we can really strengthen our relationship. I, I always kind of walk away from our coaching calls um, excited, but also with a plan of some things that I can accomplish to continue my own growth journey. Um, and so I really wanted to bring the work that you're doing to our school and to our families. So as a school, we're offering a challenge and it can be even families outside of Acton um, to really think about how you can take your family to the next level, how you can grow. So for people in our Acton school, um, you can earn a family badge by completing some sessions with Ashley and coming up with some growth goals for your family um, over our summer. So thank you, Ashley, for working with yes. us. It's always a, always a pleasure. Oh, and it's, it's so much fun doing it because, you know, the foundation for building that family where growing families, you have those times where you can get lost in chaos and reaction mode, especially with these tiny curve yes. balls that are running around your home. And so if you, the more you are aware of your own strengths and what triggers those reactive behaviors and then doing that with each person in your family, it's amazing what insights you can get. So that, yes, you can move forward with a plan. And sometimes there's those simple action steps. And there is power in talking with, with the coach or with somebody else because oftentimes, especially when we're in the thick of things with young children in the house, it can be hard to 
see beyond your nose and to see nice. maybe something that it may be very simple, but just having that outside perspective to say, let's, let's go nice. through this together. Let's see, does this resonate with you? Well, what are some things that, that you can do that, that can't just some tiny steps that can make a substantial difference. And that's what we did with you. And oh my goodness, just the bedtime battles. We did a take back the night campaign with Anna and here I am laying out some action steps thinking that, you know, I'll check back with, you know, after a week and we'll go and boy, first night she, <laughs> you rocked it. And there was a, a great change even in the first night, because I think that, that, that opportunity to kind of be empowered that yes, you can do this and you want to do this. And even when you may be more strict in some things for a time frame to kind of reset a family. It's yeah. it is so powerful on, on the impact that it can make long term just for your connection and understanding together. I think my two big takeaways um, have been focusing on who I want to be in those stressful mm. moments um, and doing what I need, to, knowing that I can't control other people, all I can do is control myself. So one example is our three-year-old, we just moved into a new house, backstory to this. He takes Sharpie marker all over our new house, all over our walls. Oh, no. And you know, your knee-jerk reaction is just to like come unglued. Yes. <laughs> and I remember thinking to myself, who do I want to be right now? Do I, I don't want to come unglued on my little three-year-old. So taking a break and focusing on myself. And, and the other thing I think I've learned is focusing on being loving instead of being right. Yes. I think it's so easy when you're working with your children or your spouse, like you wanna prove your point, you wanna be right. And that just doesn't matter. It's more important to focus on being loving. Sorry. I think school's let out. I see my, my little ones coming on into my office. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, that's a great way to end it. You know, my mom used to always say, practice being kind rather than being right. And yes. understanding your personality style can help you to check how important it is for that right factor and being yes. able to temper it a little bit better. And a great way to approach your family. And when it comes to schooling for your children, and parenting and marriage is simply asking yourself, what is my goal? When yes. you're interacting with people, and that can be a really powerful way to make sure that you are moving forward with intention. And we are creating these amazing heroes who are lifelong journey, life, lifelong journey. Yes. Lifelong, <laughs> who are lifelong learners. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Right. Well, thank the world you needs so all the help it can get. Yes, very much so. Thank you so much for being on. I will share the links about the Act in Business. And, um, and thank you very much. And I'm very excited to be working with Acton and helping your families to grow and connect and create those family lives that they love to come home to as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ashley. Take care. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.